Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Come here, Shalom. Kuholoim la. Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, Bahashem. Rachachachutash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water toward the Akim. Achwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Love Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Rachachachutash. To the best of their ability. And um, this is Yachanah Nawak. It's coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just to show you how far these, these pastors are going to try and pull in congregants and to keep congregants for that matter. Now, this is um, Pastor Jamal Bryant wants to bring black men back to church by growing weed. I'm looking for people that smell like weed, he said. Okay, so let's get a little bit of the video. I'm just going to get the intro. This is for Fair Use Act. Um... I'm not getting any monetary value off of it. It's just um, for educational purposes only. And um, let's get what he said, man. I'm just going to get the very beginning clip of this, about um, maybe 10 seconds of it or whatever, so we can get it out of the horse's mouth. So nobody won't be saying we're bearing false witness on this guy. He's actually saying this out of his own mouth. Let's get it. For people that smell like weeds. <laughs> no, 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 really. Is New Birth is the largest land-owning black church in America. And so my position to my deacons is why aren't we not raising cannabis? I'll be able to bring in black males. They're able to do it legally. Mm. I'm teaching them farming. Oh my God. I'm helping them to enhance the ecosystem. Uh, th th this is the kind of conversation. So if the guy, black boy in Bankhead said, they grow weed at the church. Where do I join? Yes. I am Rashawn Ali. Everybody's home. Okay. And he also finished out that statement saying, I don't need no pamphlets for him. You know? All he got to do is offer, offer him some weed. And he don't need no pamphlets. You see? And really, in reality, you don't need no pamphlets. <laughs> you know? It's brothers that may have um, information because people do ask you for information when we're out on the highways and byways. Like, you know, um, where are you guys at? Do you have a spot? We just tell them, hey, it's, 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 um, people ask us all the time, do you have a place, a building? Or Like, no, we come out on the highways and byways. We, we teach the word. We are on YouTube. That's our main platform. And we give them the information if they want to know. Hey, here's the YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? But we are out here on the highways and byways on this particular day, generally from this time to this time, and that's how we, we, we let them know. Now, you have um, some of these Hebrew Israelites that have, um, you know, spots and churches and all this other stuff. But, you know, hey, we don't get down like that, man. We just go out, do the work, because we know that the scriptures is what's going to pull them in. Not no damn marijuana, not no pamphlet, not know how good you can talk. Not how no, you know, you're a good orator, orator um, whatever. It, it, that's not what is going to pull the people in. What's going to pull them in is these scriptures. It's the scriptures that quicken. You see? It's the scriptures that quicken it, man. Matter of fact, let me see. It's a lock here. Okay, um, this is John 6 and 663. John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. See, when you speak these words, that's spirit. It's the, it's the, it's the spirit that quickeneth, man. It's not some nigga talking about, hey, look, I got a church and we're going we gonna to grow weed. It's going to help the ecosystem. I'm going to teach you, hey, we're going to bag up. As a matter of fact, on Sundays after the fish fry, the catfish fry and the pork chop, you know, <laughs> sandwich dinner or whatever the hell, ham hock dinner. We're going to be blowing, you know, and, and we're just going to, you know, be testing. We're going to, you know, have weed smoking and wine tasting test in the, in the basement of the chapel. Like, nah, man, it's the spirit that quickeneth. It says the flesh profit is nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. See, and, you know, when you go into the comments on this thing, it's a lot of um, nonsense, too. But a lot of people understand that this is wickedness, man. This right here, this person says, I see Lewis says, Dear God, just what is going on? What's it going to take for these people to wake up and see these devils for what they are? I mean, nobody should be that blind to keep following these hirelings, even after God keeps exposing them. I know that love is supposed to be blind, but this is just plain old stupid. Sadly, no matter how much God open, open up some folks eyes, they still follow these devils to hell. Nobody is worth me losing my soul for it. But see, 
what this person may not understand is is let's go to the book of um in the book of Matthew chapter 13 let's start at verse 14 uh, oh no let me get a little bit more on this uh, let me see here because verse 11 is really important too um, it says he he answered let me see verse verse 10 let's start there and the disciples came and said unto him why speakest thou unto them in parables? Now check out what the, the Lord says. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath... Now as you can see, he's saying to, to the disciples, to the chosen, the elect basically, it is it's for you to understand this, this gospel. It's not for everybody. Because the Lord could have plainly spoke to everybody. The Lord could have could have done miracles so enormous. The Lord could have actually just touch people and said you're you know and, and, and automatically made them believe like robots he could have done all kinds of miracles he could have done some you know he could have zapped them into the heavenly realm and zapped them back down on earth where they could have denied it at all but he he went and he spoke to a certain to a certain degree of, of parables he always spoke in parables why because it was only meant for certain people to grasp those dark sayings those dark sayings which was the spirit is going to wake them up and everybody else is just going to be blinded man and the scriptures is about to go into that verse 12 it says for whosoever hath to him shall be given see and he shall have more abundance so if you got this truth with embedded within you already it's just got to be you just got to be turned on, so to speak. The ones that's going to get it, they already have it. They just got to be turned on. The elect just got to be turned on like a light, so to speak, right? But whosoever have not from him shall be taken away even that he had. Therefore, I speak to them in parables because they seen not and hearing they because they seen, see not and hearing, hear not. Neither do they understand. And this is the reason why, because he's 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 quoting from the prophet Isaiah, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, "By hearing ye shall hear, and ye shall not understand; and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, you see, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed." Lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. See, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. See, so Isaiah, he prophesied against um, a lot of our people, man. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, let me see. Um, let's get that account. Let's go to Isaiah. Let's get where he was quoting from Isaiah chapter six. This is not for everyone, man. See, this is not even for all Israel. So, you know, it's not for the heathens. It's not for heathen nations because the Lord only made um, he made a contract. He made, you know, the, he gave the law, statutes and commandments to Israel and Israel only. The covenants, the promises, the giving of the law. That's all in um, 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 Romans chapter nine. You see, so the Lord only dealt with the Israelites to begin with. So if he's saying this about the Israelites, then you know he can't be dealing with the, the, the heathen nations, man. This truth is only for the elect of Israel. You can't pull the elect of Israel in with no damn weed, <laughs> no crack, no no box, no coochie. You know what I'm saying? No 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 amount of money. You know, the, the elect is not gonna gonna take no bribes. You see, they're gonna come into this truth. They're gonna be awakened, and and and, and they're gonna be quickened by the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and they're gonna come into this truth, and that's gonna be that. And the ones that 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 are blinded, they're not gonna get it. So now let's get the account in Isaiah that the Lord was quoting from. Isaiah chapter six, he was quoting from right here, chapter uh, verse nine. I'll start at verse eight. Also, I heard the voice of, of the Lord saying, "Whom shall I send?" And who will go for me? Then said I, here I am, said, send me. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they 
see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and cons and convert and be healed. This is what the Lord was 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 quoting. Cause Israel's so damn wicked, man. You see what I'm saying? Let me see. Uh, and that's pretty much about all that you know that I really wanted to get. Um, now it goes off into same account as in John. You can get the same account in John. It's also being spoken of. Matter of fact, let's just get it. Let's go to the book of John, right? And this is the book that, you know, everybody be John 3, 16, for God so loves the world. But let's go to chapter 12. Let's start at verse 37. It says, but though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. So they seeing the miracles. They seeing the Lord firsthand healing people, doing, raising the dead. You know what I'm saying? He done brought Lazarus back after being dead. I think Lazarus was dead for like four days. His body was already starting to stink. You know, they seeing all these miracles and they not believe in the Lord because they have that, um, you know, they, they have that disbelief. And the Lord is not dealing with no, um, no, no faithless niggas, man. It says that the saying of Isaiah, the prophet, see, this is the same saying that the saying of Isaiah, the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spake, Lord, who hath believed our report? Because they don't believe in, in the words, man. And to whom hath the arm of the Lord been revealed? Therefore, they cannot believe because that Isaiah said again, he hath blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their heart and be converted and I should heal them. See, these things said Isaiah when he saw his glory and spake of him. See, nevertheless, among the chief rulers also many believed on him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogues, for they love the praise of men more than the praise of God. See that? Yahweh Shachrai said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believe on me should not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not, for I am... For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words hath one that judgeth him. And the word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. So... They wasn't believing Yahweh Shai. They wasn't believing the Father Yahweh. That simple, man. It, it's really that simple. Now let's go into the book of Acts. Let's get the um, basically somewhat of the same account. Chapter 28. Verse 25. And let's start at 24 here. And some believe the things which were spoken and some believe not. And when they agreed not among themselves, they departed. After that, after that, Paul had spoken one word. Well spake the Holy Ghost by Isaiah, the prophets, unto our fathers. Who is the prophet Isaiah? He was an Israelite. Who is the fathers? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers. All Israelites, man. Saying, go unto this people and say, hearing ye shall hear. And shall not understand and seeing ye shall see and not perceive for the heart of this people is wax gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes have they closed lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and should be converted and should be healed. So see, it's the same thing that's being said right here, right? And what else? Um, uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get the account with David, too. Now, this is Romans um, chapter 11. Let's start at verse 7 on this. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is, as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. And David said, see, and even David prophesied, um, 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 you know, um, basically 
said what he said about Israel because Israel was wicked as hell. And David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Right. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back all way. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation has come unto the Gentiles for the for to provoke them to jealousy. But the thing of it is, is with the uh, there's going to be a lot of Israelites, man, that's just going to reject the Lord. It, it's that simple, man. It's the same as as it was when the Lord was walking the earth. There was all them people, man. It was plenty of people that seen all the things that Yahweh had done, man, and they didn't believe on on Yahweh. Now, all the Israelites, you know, didn't, you know, go that route because there was a lot of Israelites that followed the Lord. The Lord had a great following. But when it came to the Pharisees and certain ones of those sects, they didn't want to lose their positions in the kingdom, man. But the whole thing of it is, is this man trying to use gimmicks and, 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 and do all this silly shit. That's not going to work, man. If the Lord don't want you to have this word. They, 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 you're not gonna get it, man. It, it's that simple. Let me see. Did I get this one? Did I get the John? Oh yeah, I think I got this one already. No, I don't think I got it. John 14 and 6. I can end out here. Yeah, how was I said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. See that? Cause you have um these Christians out here, they, they get to talking about how they gave their life to the Lord and all this. You don't give your life to the Lord. If the Lord is not dealing with you, if he don't wake you up, there is there's nothing doing, man. Nothing's going to happen. You can forget about it. If the Lord don't wake you up, if the Father does not wake you up and send you to the Lord, you can forget about it. That's it, man. Verse 7, it says, If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Okay, but that the point is made right there with verse 6. Let me get it again. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth. See? He's the way. Not some nigga talking about we going to get some, we can, I'm looking for people, men that smell like weed. I don't need a pamphlet. All I got to do is tell them we got weed at the church. Like, nigga, nah, man. It don't work like that, man. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. No man coming to the Father but by Yahweh Shai, man. So, the, 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 this this clown sitting here telling, talking about he looking for men that smell like weed. Now, it, it, I, I, you can, you know what? It, it's a lot of people that will fall for that, though. Because there's a lot of false teachers out here. There's a lot of false prophets out here in these last days. That's how you know we're living in the last days as well. The Lord said to beware, man. But there are certain people that's just, hey, that's just going to happen to them because that's just the way that the Lord designed it, you know. And we have to be thankful to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that he brought us into this truth. And I pray on a day-to-day -day basis. And I, I you know, I, I tell whoever listening, you know, hey, pray to Yahweh, man, that he, when I blow out your candlestick, will remove his Holy Spirit from you. That's the last thing that you don't want, you know, especially when you come into this truth. You come into this truth, man, you getting this, this, this real nourishment. You want to stay in this, man. When well, my man's like my man say down in Birmingham, man, I'm, I want to stay. I'm staying by the ark, man. <laughs> I'm going to stay by the ark. I'm not going to take a chance to go across town and get, you know, and try and get, you know, get something in the ark, you know, take off, you know. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm staying by the ark, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, we are definitely in the last days because the, the, the scriptures talks about um, in the last days there will be false prophets, man. Matter of fact, let's see. Matter of fact, that's in um, these people don't care about the flocks. These are greedy dogs right here, man. Oh yeah, Matthew seven and fifteen. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. And you can see that in that man's eyes. You can see you can see that on him, man. Matthew twenty four and eleven. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. See, that, that's deception, man. Matthew 24 and 24 says, For there shall, there shall arise false Christ, or false Mashiachs, 
and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders and so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect see this is who this this this, this truth is all for it's for the elect of israel man and they just go on and on with the um let's get second peters two and one but there were false prophets also among the people even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies even denying the lord that that bought them and bring un, upon themselves swift destruction and that's what this man is bringing upon himself he's bringing upon himself swift destruction man this one right here is a, a perfect one to go out with first john 4 and 1 beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they they are of yahweh because many false prophets are going out in the, into the world just him talking about weed you already know that nigga going off any nigga trying telling you that you know you basically he's telling you that you're just stupid as hell he's stupid enough that all i got to do is offer this nigga a blunt and he'll be in church every sunday smoke before you come <laughs> you know matter of fact we have a uh, we're gonna be we're gonna have a smoke session in the lobby just before the 12 o'clock service i mean what are you gonna do you see what i'm saying let me get that one again beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of yahweh and there's plenty of ways you how do you try the spirits you try the spirits by the scriptures if they're going against what the lord is saying did you know that they're a false prophet man they false it says because many false prophets are gone out into the world and that's it man so i just wanted to just touch on this the brother he done a lesson on it um let me see matter of fact i could probably find his so that way you can get okay, yeah this the brother right here south carolina it's gms south carolina 0808 the brother always put out great lessons man um he normally goes live at night you know um give or take 9 10 11 at night generally it'd it be some great lives so you you'll definitely be um educated and he do videos throughout the day so this brother is constantly doing lessons man i don't even know how he even fits it in on his time schedule <laughs> with the brother be going in but yeah um subscribe to this brother's channel gms south carolina um zero eight because this is his video that he went in on it and he gave a lot of different precepts as a you know from what i done you know what i'm saying i was just you know just flowing in the spirit so you know a hey, to be edified though grab this brother's channel up and um subscribe so with that i pray that the lesson was edifying from your solo